This is how you can make a server status command for your discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you're interested in getting the source code from this video or any other video on my channel, you can go ahead and join a super god tier subscription on YouTube, or you can go ahead and get a god tier subscription on Discord. You can also get any of these three bot packages. They are fully coded Discord bots based on a specific topic. All of this will be in the description below if you're interested, and with that, let's go ahead and get into the code. Alright, so over in the code, let's go over to community, and we're going to go ahead and create server status.js. In here, we're going to start off by getting our slash command builder. We can also get our embed builder, and then we can do equals require, and we're going to go ahead and get our discord.js package. Following that, we're going to go ahead and do module.exports, and we can open this up with our data, which is going to be our new slash command builder. We're going to go ahead and set a name, which is going to be server status, and then we can go ahead and set a description. In here, we're just going to go ahead and say get the overall percentages of each status based on members. Then we're going to go ahead and add a comma. We can do async execute. So we're going to go ahead and get our interaction. And then we can go ahead and open this up. Within this, we're going to do async function and we can get send message. This is going to be our send message function with our message parameter. We're going to go ahead and get our embed, which is going to be our new embed builder. We can go ahead and start off by setting a color, which is going to be blurple. Then we're going to go ahead and set a description, which is going to be our message parameter. Then we can go ahead and do await interaction or reply. And we can go ahead and get our embeds. And we can go ahead and get our embed and we're also going to go ahead and set infermal to true on that message just like that following that we can do async function and it's going to be calculate and within this we're going to do status and we can get m for members in here we're going to go ahead and return math.round and we can get status.length and then we can do divided by m.size and then we can multiply that by 100 to get an actual number not just a decimal then we're going to plus and we can go ahead and get a percent sign within a string so now that we have both of those functions we're going to go ahead and start off by getting our guild from our interaction value then we can do var members equals await guild members fetch so now that we have all of that information we can do var online we're going to set that equal to an empty array we can do var idle equals an empty array we can do var dnd for do not disturb equals an empty array and we're going to do var offline equals an empty array as well so now that we have all of our status arrays let's go ahead and do await members for each and we're going to go ahead and do async member and we can open this up so within this we're going to do our logic we're basically going to go ahead and set separate each member out into one of these arrays based off of their status. So we're going to go ahead and do if, and we can do member.presence equals, and we can do null. Then we can go ahead and return offline.push, and we can go ahead and get our member, which is going to be our member.id. Then we can go ahead and say if member.presence.status equals, and we can do online. Then we can go ahead and do online.push, and we're going to go ahead and get our member, which is going to be our member.id. Then we can go ahead and do if, and we can do member.presence.status equals, and we can do idle. Then we can do idle.push, and we're going to go ahead and get our members, and we're going to go ahead and get our member, which is going to be our member.id. So it's going to look like this. Next, and finally, we can do if, and we can do member.presence.status is equal to dnd for do not disturb. Then we're going to go ahead and do dnd.push and get our member, which is going to be our member.id just like that. So basically, we've taken all of our members, we've chunked them up into arrays based off of their current status. So now we're going to go ahead and do some more logic to actually format this into percentages based off of the total server members and what their percentage is within their array. So we can do var and we're going to do online p, we can do idle p, we can do dnd p, and we can do offline p. Then we can do online p equals await calculate and we're going to do online and we can do our member variable so we can actually go ahead and copy this and we're just going to change it each time next we're going to go ahead and get our idle p variable and instead of online we're going to get our idle array we're going to go ahead and copy this again this time we're going to go ahead and do our dnd p variable and we can get our dnd array and finally we're going to go ahead and do offline p and we're going to go ahead and get our offline array. So now what we have are four variables, each one going with the corresponding status, and they're all separated out into calculated percentages based off of the entire server's members. So now all that's left is to actually send a message with all this information in it. So we can go ahead and do that by saying await send message. We're going to get a globe emoji and we can bold server status information. We're going to do backslash n backslash n. We can bold online members. We can do an arrow after another backslash n 
and we can do backslash tick. We're gonna do online p. Then we can do a post just like this, and we're gonna go ahead and do online dot length. We can do backslash n, and we're gonna finish that off just like that. Then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing for idle members with a bold, a backslash n, an arrow, backslash tick, idle p, a pipe, idle dot length. And then we're going to finish that off. And then we can keep doing the same exact formatting for do not disturb members with the two variables separated by pipes within backslash tick. We're going to do the exact same thing for offline members as well. Same as what we were doing before, same formatting. And then we're going to do backslash n, backslash n after that. And we're going to say total members being counted. And then within two backslash ticks, we're going to go ahead and do members that size. So that is how we're going to send that message. And with that, we are actually done with this entire command. So let's go ahead and save the file, restart the bot, and test this out. All right, so in our Discord server, we can actually go ahead and test this out by getting our server status. And if we go ahead and send it, as you can see here, we're going to have our percentages, corresponding members, and our total counted. So let's go ahead and go through this. So first we have online members, and that's 22%, and 7 of the members out of 32 are online. Then we have zero idle members. We have 6% do not disturb, so that's 2 and then we have 72% uh, offline. So that is the total percentages, corresponding numbers, and all of that information. Let's go ahead and try to change a status. Let's go into idle because nobody's in idle, and we can go ahead and do server status. As you can see, real time, it's gonna update the percentage from 0% to 3%, and now we have one member. So that changes the entire percentage list as well as the corresponding members. Now let's go ahead and do that within my actual Discord server. This is a little bit bigger server, so it will make a little bit of a difference so to start we're going to go ahead and do our server status command and as you can see we have each status's percent and their corresponding members all totaling to about 7.2 k members and the percentages should add up to 100 what's going to happen is the percentages are not going to change each time because the percentages are rounded if we left it as a decimal you would see the decimals updating each time but because we rounded it the percentage is not going to change here what is going to change is the corresponding members so I went to D&D, &D, so we should have a couple more members in here, and we're also going to notice less offline members or more offline members, because this one tends to change quite often. So if we go ahead and run that command, as you can see, now we have quite a bit less by around 20. We have around the same amount of Do Not Disturb members. We have idle members, which is actually three less than before, and we have a couple less online members as well. So you can see how that number changes, but what did not change is the percent, like I said, because that's rounded. But if you gave this maybe 20 minutes, then the percentages would actually change. But in bigger servers, you're actually going to notice that these percentages are going to tend to stay around the same because the bigger chunk of the members is going to be offline and then it's just going to be chunked up into the three smaller chunks. So that's you can make an advanced server status command using your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.